Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Connors, and for today's book review, we're going to talk about this great book uh, by Elisa Childers called Another Gospel. It's a great response to this young lady's um, attendance in a church that she went to that she initially thought was a fantastic church. Um, and she realized that there is um, uh, a belief system in quote unquote Christianity out there that's called progressive Christianity. I say quote unquote Christianity because I don't think it's Christian whatsoever. Matter of fact, I think it's antichrist. Um, and she doesn't say maybe uh, it that strongly, but I would. Um, progressive Christianity is a is a complete different belief system. They've it, not believing in the inheritance of scripture. Um, I think it's I think it's important for everybody to read this book if you're a believer and or even if you're seeking um, truth in any way because there's a lot of uh, wrong teachings. There's other gospels out there that, as Paul said, they are not gospels. They are lies and um, they are uh, damnable uh doctrines and uh, it's very important for you to know the difference and it's not okay for a believer to to not dig into this and not um, discover for themselves what is truth uh, I see this so often my wife and I went through this very similar experience as uh, Miss Childers did. She'll, she'll explain in her book that she heard her husband went to this church. They just loved the church. They loved the people in the church. This, uh, the worship and praise was fantastic. They liked the teaching. Then the pastor invited her to a more in-depth study with, along with dozens of other people. And through this in-depth study, uh, it was revealed to her the real doctrinal beliefs of the pastor. And that's where she started to understand what has become known as progressive Christianity, which is really damnable doctrines of demons. It is truly another gospel, as Paul writes about, that is not the gospel of Jesus Christ at all. Even though they have hijacked many of the terms, hijacked many of the the um, the words that are used in Christianity, the um, the language of Christianity, but the ultimate belief system is far from Orthodox Christianity. And uh, it is very important for believers, if you're going to a church, if you're trying to, to understand your faith in Christ, to be willing to, to take that step of of learning some real apologetics and being able to prove your faith. Uh, so I highly recommend this book. I give it a five-star review. I think what uh, Lisa Childress has done was, has been fantastic. She also has a podcast and a YouTube channel that I'll show you a link to in just a second that I highly recommend that you subscribe to. Apologetics is really digging into your faith and really being able to prove your faith. And we as believers are called to do that. We're not to be lazy Christians. Uh, she is uh, has a background much like many Christians do. She was raised in a good Christian home by good Christian parents, was taught in a good church, yet she was never challenged to really dig into her belief system and understand the reason why she believes these things. And, and that is important. And if you're going to withstand the scrutiny of the world, you have to understand why you believe the, these things. Uh, and it's not the faith of your just your family or your parents. It's your faith that you're standing on, or you may be standing on sand. I talk about this in a book that I wrote several years ago, is Hell the Only Difference, um, Demanding Sanctification um, uh, in Our Own Lives. And sanctification is where God takes those who who give their life to him and he disciples us he disciplines us he shapes us and molds us to the image of our of his son that's really what 
your life purposes as a believer. It's not to live a great life and to have a Mercedes and to have perfect health and to have wonderful things and live to 120 years old. That's totally self-absorbed, narcissistic Christianity, which is not Christianity whatsoever. We talk about this a lot with our patients. Connor's Clinic, we're mainly a cancer clinic, and we deal from a spiritual side that God disciples us, and he is a uh, God that loves us so much that he can allow pain and suffering in this world and allows pain and suffering in our lives to drive us to a deeper sanctified relationship, a more holy relationship with him. That's what our purpose is. Um, this little sliver of time that we live here on earth is meaningless compared to eternity. And this, we need to take this sliver of time that we have here on earth to drive our relationship closer to him. If you don't have a hunger for God's word, ask him for it. Pray for that hunger and thirst for his righteousness and his holiness, because only he can give you that. I need to pray that prayer every day because I am a fleshly human being that seeks after my own ways all the time and this is this book is another just another reminder to dig deeper into the truth don't get uh, don't believe the lies of this world whether they come from a pulpit uh, or a church of people that are very friendly and nice but are the truth is not being told these are damnable things people um, this is not something to take lightly. We need to seek the truth with all our heart, and we need to pray for wisdom and and not be lazy about our Christian walk. Um, if you don't have a hunger for the truth, if you don't have a hunger for his word, ask for it. Ask for that hunger. Only he can give you that righteous hunger for his truth. Um, I pray that you look up Elisa Childers. Here's her website, elisachilders.com. From there, you could get to her YouTube channel. From there, you could get this uh, book. Uh, I have both the hardcover and I listen to it on Audible. Um, and from there, you can um, watch a bunch of her interviews and her videos. Highly recommend it. Five-star review. Don't be lazy in your walk with the Lord. You need to do some work here. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, not just things that feel good. And this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, First Thessalonians. Praying for you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.